so once the setup is launched you will see uh, a box um, the UAC box which is a user access control box um, pop up and that will ask you if you want this app to make changes to your computer basically you are giving Windows permission to basically run the file so the next step you are going to select next Then you are going to select accept and continue and basically are accepting the license agreement. You can view and read it if you want to but for now we are just going to select accept and continue. Now it's asking us for the license and product number. We have it up here. We can just copy the old block of numbers and we can do space and that whole block of numbers will will populate the license number field then we can these numbers are it's just six numbers so we can enter it 989375 that is the product number and it's very important that once this installation is finished that you do not try to to um, register this license because it's a trial license so never try to register this license all right so we are gonna we are not gonna select the recommended express settings because if you have a current version of QuickBooks on your system it will replace that version even if it is a full version so we're gonna select the custom and ne network options we're gonna select next and we're going to select that we're going to be using QuickBooks on this desktop and we're going to select next again and we're not going to replace the edition that is on this system we're basically going to use a different location which is to change the install location if you had gone with the express settings you would not have had the options of choosing where this the, the program would be installed right here so now we are going to select next and this should be the final prompt once you select this the files will start to um install so we're going to select install and it should take an average 10 minutes for the installation to be completed